So as I'm feeding my fish, it occurred to me that this little guy right here, the humble little algae wafer, might be one of the most misunderstood types of fish foods on the market today. Some of them are pretty good, the vast majority not so much. We're going to talk about what makes a good algae wafer and why you've probably been wasting your money if you've been buying these things for a very long time. We're used to hearing about our plecos and our snails consuming algae-based products, but I don't think many people realize just how many fish are out there that really like plant-based foods. For instance, our Ambuna fish, our Ambuna cichlids, they not only love the plant-based algae wafers, these kelp algae wafers, but they require them. But it's not just the Ambuna cichlids. Most cichlids from Lake Malawi would really appreciate some plant-based foods in their diet. In our fish room, we have a lot of fish besides the Lake Malawi cichlids that like kelp-based wafers. Our severums love to eat them. When we had our ballast sharks, our tinfoil barbs, our silver dollars, they all absolutely love them. Our South, our larger South American cichlids, when we had our Oscar and our tilapia, our tilapia was an African cichlid, but they also love them. Our vieja eat this, the algae wafers, as does our electric blue acara. Our shrimp absolutely love them. Even our gouramis like to get in on the action when we feed our algae wafers to our plecos. The point is you would be very surprised to see how many fish actually love to eat the algae wafers and these kelp-based wafers that we feed. So what makes a great algae wafer? What makes a great fish food? Thing number one is your fish have to eat it. You can buy the greatest food in the face of the earth. Everybody says it's awesome. It's got great packaging. It's the most expensive. It's got the best nutrients. But if your fish aren't going to eat the food, what difference does it make? It's just gonna go into the tank. It's gonna follow up your water. Your fish are still gonna be hungry. You haven't solved any problems. So thing number one is the food that you feed. Well, the fish need to find it edible. Thing number two, when it comes to algae wafers, it's really nice when these are a little bit resilient when you put them in the water and they maintain their shape. They don't immediately bloat up and start to disintegrate in the water. Sometimes it takes your scavenger fish a little while to find the food. Sometimes when you're feeding at night, it might take your snails, your shrimp a little while to consume it. The last thing you wanna do is cloud up your tank and have your fish tank look awful because these things started to fall apart before your fish could actually consume them. Now I've saved the best part for last, and this is where a lot of people waste a lot of money. If you're going to be feeding algae wafers, it would be great if there's actually algae or some green plant-based product as the primary ingredient in your fish food. That's the whole reason you're feeding them, right? You've got fish that require a high plant-based diet. This thing should supply that. I challenge you when you're done with the video, if you've got algae wafers laying around your house, check the ingredients list. If the first ingredient is something like, I don't know, fish meal or krill or wheat product or yeast extract, you've basically got green colored fish food. What you want is something that has algae right up front. We happen to use Northfin kelp wafers. That's what these things are. Kelp is the primary ingredient. And you see not too further down the line, you've got spirulina and other types of plant-based materials. That is a key for your algae wafer. If you've got primarily a fish protein based wafer with a little bit of algae sprinkled in, that's really not accomplishing what you would hope to accomplish. We have been feeding these kelp based wafers for the last couple years. In fact, our entire fish room basically runs on North Fin Foods. We've been feeding those foods exclusively for the last couple years. If you are looking for a quality algae wafer or quality fish food in general, check out flipaquatics.com. They are a channel sponsor. They have great food, great shrimp, great nano fish. I think you'll be very surprised and very excited when you see your fish chowing down on these things. They're actually getting the plant-based material that you had hoped for. Appreciate it being here. If you want to learn more about how we feed our fish, check out this video in the upper right-hand corner. Appreciate you being here, and we'll see you in the next one.